Costa Rica, volcanoes, cinder cones, volcanic fields. Cerro, Las Mercedes. Cerro's Las Mercedes is actually a pyroclastic cone. It's also known as Cono Mercedes. It's a cinder cone of late Pliocene age that lies along the Caribbean coastal plain near the border of Nicaragua. The cone lies just west of San Juan River, near the point where the Costa Rica-Nicaraguan border no longer follows the San Juan River, and extends westward south of the river. Lucite bearing bombs and lapil of potassic alkaline basaltic composition cover an area about one kilometers. Our next one is Aronal Volcano. Aronal Volcano is an active andesitic stratovolcano in northwestern Costa Rica, about 90 kilometers northwest of San Jose, in the province of Alajula, canton of San Carlos, the district of La Fortuna. The Aronal Volcano measures at least 5,358 feet high and it is conically shaped with a crater of 460 feet in diameter. Geologically, Aronal is considered a young volcano and is estimated to be less than 7,500 years old. Let's see if we have any views here. Maybe we can get one here. A little pigment doesn't want to land there. Okay, there we go. We can see we have water down here. Stairs. This is pretty. It's a creek. There's feet right there. <laughs> We don't have any more like right at the volcano. So we're moving on to Barva Volcano. Barva Volcano is an andesitic stratovolcano complex in central Costa Rica. It's 22 kilometers north of San Jose on the eastern side of the mountain, it has a lake in what was the volcanic crater. It's called Laguna de Barva. And in western side, it has three hills on the top, which are called Three Marvos. It is located in a small agricultural community of Sacramento. Barva has several eruptive centers at its summit and many parasitic cones on its flank. Its three main summits are visible from the central valley, which gives to the common name the Three Marys. Four pyroclastic cones are present within two by three kilometer calderas at the central and northwestern part of the summit. The southwestern peak contains four cones, one of which has a crater lake. The last confirmed eruptive activity of Barber Volcano was dated 8,050 years ago. So we can see it's here. We'll see if we have any views here at all. We do. So there's one here. So 
this is one of the lakes here. And we're moving on to the next one, which is Cerro Tilleron. Cerro <clears throat> Tilleron is an andesitic shield volcano in Costa Rica. Now we're moving on to Erazu Volcano. Erazu is an ex active complex stratovolcano in Costa Rica. It's located in the Cordillera cent Central, close to the city of Cartago. The volcano summit has several craters, one of which contains Diego de la Haya, a green crater lake of variable depth. Izaru volcano and the highest active volcano in Costa Rica. It is easily visited from San Jose with a road leading right up to the summit craters and a weekly bus service to the top. It is thus a popular tourist spot. The summit of the volcano also houses a few television transmitters for television stations in San Jose. The volcano is contained within the Izu Volcano National Park, which spreads across 5,705 acres. The National Park contains both primary and secondary montane forests and is home to armadillos, owls, rabbits, foxes, woodpeckers, and hummingbirds. Let's see if we have any views here. Ah, uh, we do. We'll go down into there. Okay. So now we can see up here. The top is the um, radio station towers. There's another one, and you have some over here. Now we're going to go and look further. here. So we can get a good look here. There's a radio station, radio towers, and clouds. Check out the clouds. Now we're moving on to Laguna Poco Sol. And this doesn't have a very good view for it, but it's a volcanic lake in Costa Rica in the Cordillero de Telorum. The lake lies at an altitude of 789 meters, which is 2,589 feet. It lies at 200 meters, which is 660 feet wide depression. The depth of the lake is 38 feet deep. Other volcanic features in the area include bre breccia, lahar deposits, lava flows, and tufts. The lake may be a landslide scar or a crater left by a freatic explosion. It is probable of the Pliocene age and is, was constructed with the andesitic Menta Verde formation, which was erupted between 2.1 and 1 million years ago. Hot springs, mud pots, and deposits of sulfur are found both at the lake and near the Pinas Blancas River. The area has been investigated for possibility of obtaining geothermal energy. And 
and the river is going here. So if you look here, you can see there's the river. Now we're moving on to Maravillas Volcano. Maravillas Volcano is an andesitic stratovolcano in Costa Rica. The caldera was formed during several major explosive eruptions that produced voluminous desitic rhyolitic pyroclastic flows between about 1.5 and 0.6 million years ago. The only reported historical eruptive activity was a small steam explosion on the southwest flank in 1946. High heat flow remains and Maravillas is the site of the larger developed geothermal field in Costa Rica. The Maravillas volcano reaches an elevation of 6,653 feet and is the highest mountain in the Guancast Mountains. The beat from the volcano also helps to power a geothermal energy plant. And you can look over here, if I'm correct, this is the right one. This is Maravellas, and when I was looking before, there is a geothermal station around here somewhere. Um, anyway, okay, so we're going to see if we have a view on this one. And we don't. Okay, we're moving on to Arosi Volcano. Rossi Volcano in Spanish. Okay. Um, Volcan Orosi is an inactive volcano in Costa Rica located in the Cordillera de Guancas near the border of Nicaragua. The area around the volcano is a popular tourist destination, especially for more ecologically minded tourists, due to its biodiversity, including the Guancas National Park. At the base of the volcano is Marza Biological Station, which researches aquatic biology found in the conjunction with the Stout Winter Research Center at Vondale, Pennsylvania, in the United States. We can see it here. And no view either. Oh wait, there was one over there. Let's go over here. Hey, see what you can see over here. See a house? The radio tower. And we're moving on to the next one. Poas Volcano. This is an active 8,885 foot stratovolcano in central Costa Rica and is located within the Poez Volcanic National Park. It has erupted 40 times since 1828, including April 2017 when visitors and residents were evacuated. The volcano and the surrounding park are currently closed indefinitely. With a 2.5 kilometer safety perimeter set around the erupting crater. There are two crater lakes near the summit. The northern lake is known as Hot Lagoon and is located at a height of 2,300 meters and a crater approximately 0.3 kilometers wide and 30 meters deep. It is one of the world's most acidic lakes. The acidity varies after rain and changes in volcanic activity. 
sometimes reaching a pH of almost zero. Consequently, it supports little and no aquatic life. The bottom of the lake is covered with a layer of liquid sulfur. Acid gases create acid rain and acid fog, causing damage to surrounding ecosystems and often irritating the eyes and lungs of people. Lake Batos, the southern lake, is filled in an inactive crater, which last erupted in 7,500 BC. It is a cold, in, it is a cold and clear lake and is surrounded by a cloud forest within the National Park boundaries. On May 17, May 17, 1953, an eruption occurred that started a cycle that lasted until 1956. The last two people reported missing. There was also an eruption of activity in 2009 involving minor phreatic eruptions and landslides within the north, northern active crater. POAS eruptions often include geysers, like ejections of l crater lake water. So we're going to look and see if we have a view on this one. I know we have one right in the middle, so we'll go here. People. And then this is the volcano here. get a better view. And we'll go over here. We've got lots of little views on this one. Oops, person. This is a road up through here. And we're moving on to the next one. Rincon de la Vega Volcano. And it is an active, endocetic volcano complex in northern Costa Rica, about 23 kilometers from Liberia, in a province of Guancast. Its name means the Old Woman's Corner. In reference to a local legend about a girl whose lover was thrown into a crater by her father, she became a recluse living on the mountain and was created with powers of healing. Rincon de, de la Vega stands 6,286 feet above sea level, and its summit is the biggest point in the Rincon de la Vega Volcano National Park. It erupted most recently in September of 2011. The volcano has a large number of fumaroles and hot springs on its slopes. It is formed by felsic lava. There are a large number of hot pools and areas of bubbling mud in two areas of the slope of the volcano, indicating substantial reserves of geothermal energy. Investigations have been carried out and feasible ability of tapping these reserves, and the volcano is estimated to have a potential of 140 megawatts. So it's another geothermal area. So let's see here. We have any views here. And we don't. Okay, back in there. And moving on to Toron Tenorio Volcanic National Park. The 225 square kilometer dominantly andesitic Tenorio volcano massive anchors the southeast end of the Guancast range and consists of a cluster of densely forested north northwest south southeast trending volcanic cones overlapping lava flows from the main peak 
Tenorio blankets the northwest to southwest flanks and descended the northeast flank. The northwest most of three craters of the central cone is sparsely vegetated and appears to be the most recently active Montezuma volcano in the north and has twin craters. A legend exists of an eruption in 1816, but the volcano was densely forested at the time of the 1964 visit by Seabach and not considered to have erupted in historical time. Fumarolic activity is present on the northeast flank. We'll see if we have... Nope. Sometimes we get them, but sometimes we don't. Oh, we have one right here. Okay, let's go up over here. It is a pretty waterfall. The next one is plantar. <coughs> plantar is a volcanic center in the central mountain range. The complex covers 900 square kilometers, which is 220,000 acres, and is dominated by Prev. Porvenir, por, Porvenir volcano at 7,438 feet, whose summit crater lies three kilometers south of Plantar, Cerro Planetar, also known as Falcon Congo. With a peak elevation of 7,162 feet, has a destroyed crater to the northwest prehistoric lava flows on the western flank. One of them, the so-called Florida flow, was perhaps created by Plantar's most recent activity. Cerro Porvenir has a truncated caldera at the summit with a cone inside. Both of these are part of a stratovolcano of upper Pleistocene age that on Plantar's side overlies the remains of the Palmera collapsed caldera. Plantar has erupted lavas ranging from basalts to andesite in composition. On March 30th, 1997, there were six earthquakes on the south flank and the strongest being of magnitude 2.7. A previous seismic swarm in April 1980 had lasted for two to three weeks. So this is it here. And we're moving on to Terrialba Volcano. Terrialba Volcano is an active volcano in central Costa Rica that has been explosively eruptive and the recent years including 2016 and in January, March and April of 2017. Visitors used to be able to hike down the main crater but increased volcanic activity in 2014 through 2017 resulted in large clouds of volcanic ash has caused the surrounding Terrialba Volcanic National Park to be closed. The strata volcano is 10,958 feet high and has 45 minutes from the Atlantic Slope town of Terrialba. The summit has three craters, the largest of which has a diameter of 160 feet. And below the summit is a mountain range and montane forest with ferns, farmlands, lichens, and mosses. Most of the forest is either primary or secondary forest. Terrialba is adjacent to Irazu and both are among Costa Rica's largest volcanoes. 
Tarialba had at least five large explosive eruptions in the last 3,500 years. The volcano is named after its canton, Tarialba, in Costa Rica's Cartago province. There is no clear consensus on the origin of the name Tarialba, but historians disagree with attempts to attribute the name to the patri patronym Tarialba from Argon, Spain, or from the Latin Tarialba Alba, White Tower. The general consensus is that Tarialba derives from a local Indian Hutter language, but there is no agreement on the current route. The volcano is monitored by the Deep Earth Carbon Degassing Project, which is interesting. And Tarialba does have a view from the top, so we're going to get up here and see what we can see. <coughs> There we go. We can see there's people over here. Uh, interesting. Okay, so that's it there. And we'll go over here. We can see how many dead trees. This is from volcanic activity. Our next one is Sierra Negro, which is not the same as the other one, and uh, I believe it's. Guatemala. The other one is over over here in El Salvador. So this is a totally different one. This Sierra Negro is a shield volcano and the low Sierra Negro shield, lava shield occupies the isolated position in the center of the Caribbean coastal plain immediately west of Rio Chirpo, 17 kilometers east-northeast of the town of Puerto Viejo. Lava flows in the area near this small 136 meter high shield volcano have been dated from about 24 million years ago. So this is small. Our next one is Loma de Colorado. Loma de Colorado is a shield. There are five small Pliocene shield volcanoes located along the Colorado River and Turpo. They form Loma de Colorado volcanic field. The group of small alkaline basaltic volcanoes is located near the Caribbean coastline of, at the northeast most corner of Costa Rica and cover an area of 50 kilometers. The highest peak, Cerro Cucori, is seven kilometers south of the confluence of Turpo River and Colorado River. A lava flow from one of the three shields named Cerro Coronel was potassium argon dated at 1.2 million years ago. The westernmost part of the Lomas de Colorado is a hill known locally as Turpo Atlantic, lying west of the Kukori lava shield and east of the lengthy north flowing portion of the Turbo River. And there isn't a better um, view here, so if I go in closer, I don't have really good uh, view in this area. You can see one here though. Our next one is Cerro Chopo. <coughs> 
Sachen. Ceratopo is a pyroclastic cone. The small pyroclastic cone Ceratopo, also known by religious names of Anukation, Coronation, and Asukation, Asuncion, lies south of the main Gonacas River and north of the city of Canas. The 250 meter high basaltic pyroclastic cone was constructed over region, regional ignimbrites and andesitic lava flows. The crater is oriented to the northwest and was a source of olivine basaltic lava flows. Saratopo was roughly estimated by Alvardo to be a late Pliocene age. The interior of the cone, which lies along the well-traveled tra tra road from Cerro, from Canas to Tilleran, has been exposed by quarrying for road construction. And this is Cerro Chopo. Sometimes we get views, but no views. We're moving on. Cerro San Miguel. Cerro San Miguel is a lava dome. It's a light isolated lava dome that was constructed in the southwest flank of Tilleran Range near the mouth of the Gulf of Nicoya, northeast of the port city, port city of Punteranas. The acidic cone covers an area of nine kilometers and was potassium argon dated at less than 700,000 BP. Our next one is Dorica. Dorica is a lava dome. It's a group of Pliocene to Pylocene dastic lava domes. The Dorica volcanic field, also known as Rio Lori domes, lies in the Talamaca range of eastern Costa Rica. Our next one is to Torgoro. You can see it here. Tutagoro is a pyroclastic cone and it's on the Atlantic coastal plain adjacent to the Caribbean Sea. A small 119, hang on a second, the small 119 high basaltic pyroclastic cone was constructed over fluvial sediments along one of the many coastal lagoons common in this part of the Caribbean coastline. The cone lies near the northern body of scenic Torte, Tortogoro National Park, a popular coastal rainforest park rich in birds and wildlife. You can see it's kind of here. Now we're moving on to the last one, which is Lomas de Serpi. And Lomas de Serpi is also a shield volcano in the volcanic field. It's a group of six small Pliocene shield volcanoes on the Caribbean coastal plain between Tortuga. 
Tutu Garo and Parasima rivers. The highest of the small shield volcanoes, which covers an area of 70 kilometers, is Kalan. Some of the volcanoes lie within the Turtogoro National Park, known for its abundant birds and wildlife, turtles nesting areas, and rainforest lined canals, known as Costa Rica's Amazon. You guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I have uh, pneumonia, so I'm having a hard time talking. And uh, anyways, you guys, much love. Please share the video. Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Panama. Volcanoes, cinder cones, volcanic fields. Tsingal. Tsingal stratovolcano and summit. It's also known as Cerro Colorado or Cerro Picon. It lies adjacent to Costa Rica border and Talamaca range of the western coast Panama, northwest of Volcan Baru, a large andesitic stratovolcano was breached to the southwest by edifice collapse, leaving a seven kilometer wide horseshoe shaped caldera formed, formed the 2,986 meter high point in the volcano. Two large lava domes, Andesitic Cerro Tatuma and Desitic Cerro Pelon, were formed in the northwest and east sides of the caldera, respectively. Two additional domes, the larger of which is Cerro Pando, lies outside the caldera to the southwest, and another dome, Cerro Panta, is east of the caldera. Potassium organ ages for the Volcan Colorado complex range from 1.66 million years ago to 0 0.52 million years ago. And our next one is Banu, Baru Volcano. Baru Volcano is an active stratovolcano in the tallest mountain in Panama at 3,475 meters. It lies 35 kilometers off the border of Costa Rica. Due to its height and narrowness of its isthmus of Panama, it is possible to see both the Pacific Ocean and Caribbean Sea from the volcano Baru's Peak in a clear day. So let's see here. I think there is a view here for this one. I think there's a few of them. So we're gonna go here first. And this is the mountains here and the volcano. Which is really quite spectacular. Oops, now we're gonna go back up and and look at a different one. You see radio stations up there too. Now we're moving on to La Ye La Guarda. La Guarda. La Guarda is a stratovolcano. It's also known as Checha Cobre. It's a massive volcanic complex in the west central Panama, north of Az 
Zura Peninsula that was active from the Miocene to the Quaternary. And the youngest major feature of LaGuardia is located within a large fault boundary that forms the high point of the volcanic complex east of Laguna LaGuardia. The latest eruptions took place from the north part of the Horst about 220,000 years ago at Cerro Carrero Lava Dome, also known as Cerro de la Carca, north of El Castillo. The youngest feature of the La, la Yagarda complex is Maria Luna Cinder Crater, which was erupted through tertiary ignimbrite deposits at the northwest side of the complex. The oldest peat layer within a small lake dammed by basaltic lava flow originated from the cone was radium carbon dated at about 300 to 350 years ago. Warm springs are also scattered throughout the complex. So this is kind of cool. Let's see here. We have a view. Oh my. Okay, so let's go here. Camping. And here's the lake. And moving on to a valley. Now, this one's kind of interesting. This is Abel here. And if we look over here, we have this area here. This is the crater here. Stratovolcano. This is a stratovolcano. The town of El Vel de Anton is in the crater of the extinct volcano. It's surrounded by mountains and cloud forests. To the north, Cerro Gontal National Park protects three hills Cerro Gontal, Cerro Pajita, and Cerro Coracol. A Valo volcano, 80 kilometers southwest of Panama City, is a broad stratovolcano cut by a large compound Pliocene caldera. The six kilometer wide Alval de Anton caldera was formed about 56,000 years ago in association with eruption of Dacitic El Hato pyroclastic flows. The caldera has steep 200 to 300 meter high walls overlooking a flat floor underlain by deposits of former caldera lake and currently occupied by the town of Alval. Cerro Pajita, Cerro Gato, and Cerro Caracoral form a Dacitic lava dome complex that was constructed along the east-west lineament within the caldera and forms a high point of the volcano. Major phragmatic Plinian eruptions produced when magma interrupted with caldera lake water as recently as 34,600 years ago generated pyroclastic flows that reached the Pacific coast. 25 kilometers south, phreatic eruptions have occurred since then. The most recent dated eruption took place 13,000 years ago, and activity may have continued into Holocene. A geothermal exploration program is currently underway to evaluate the energy potential of the caldera. Anyways, you guys, thanks you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I still think this is wild that a town would be inside a caldera. Anyway, thank you. Please like, subscribe, and I will be doing more cool videos eventually. Thank you.